Revelation 5, we need to keep before us the wonderful moment when we will enter the kingdom of God, when, when Jesus returns to the earth. This is the light at the end of the tunnel in this life. I've got a picture of that moment here in Revelation 5, verses 9 and 10. And they sing a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open the seals of it, for you were once slain and did purchase for God a people with your blood, people of every tribe, tongue, nation, and made them to be a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign upon the earth. We don't fully know how we will spend eternity, but we won't just be robots and we won't just be doing nothing. We will be king priests. Well, kings and priests do something for others. They help others, they lead others, and priests lead people to God. Man is never better than when he has a mission, a clearly defined task from God, and he knows that he's got God's support in that work and God's empowerment. This is how we will be eternally helping others to God, helping them to serve him to his glory. There's nothing more wonderful than to see the changes in another person when we've played a part, let's say, in, in them making those changes. It's an amazing experience to feed the truly hungry, to rescue those about to die, <clears throat> to counsel people, to, to quit alcoholism, drugs and so forth, to see real change. This is far more wonderful than any amassing of wealth and self-enjoyment. It's why many very rich people quit their business lives and devote themselves to charitable work. That is a commonly observed feature. But for us, our, far, our work is far more significant than charity work because we are able to save people eternally. We have that power in our hands in the gospel. We can, in that sense, give people immortality, a life beyond the grave. And that's what it is, basically, to be a, a priest. So, Revelation 5 says that we were purchased by Jesus so that we might be able to do this forever. The idea is that we were bought out of slavery and the price paid was the blood of Jesus. So, we're now free, not free to do what we want to do, but free from sin and the fear of death, made free to serve God both now and forever.